right, we're back on the Sheffield garden build and today's the day we're going to lay the lawn. We've got um, about 50 square meters of turf going down. The original grass has been moved. Have you seen another video? Uh, we've rotivated it, we've had a six ton, uh, three ton of topsoil and three ton of grit sand to put a bit of drainage into the soil. So we've prepped all that, we've got nice and level. We're just going to start laying the turf and then cut it into the actual circle. So I'll put it on time lapse and you can uh, watch us do that. Well, here's a couple of photographs from the finished job um, taken with my uh, DJ Spark drone. There's a bit of a few aerial footage uh, and a few uh, pictures at the end that the customer's taken and then kindly sent over to me via WhatsApp. Um, you can see uh, the finished project. He's got the binded gravel for the path that we laid for the customer, uh, finished turf and the circle in the Bradston Old Town circle, well it's a random paving and then we, we turned it into a circle by cutting the edgings uh, for the, the perimeter of the circle and then obviously you've seen there's a video on that of us laying the circle and you can just see on the right hand side of the circle the brick plinth that we built for the chimney pot that we had delivered uh, from our old guard, well from the guy that actually did the garden design um, and it took us about, about three hours to get in because it weighed an absolute ton getting it out of the car off the drive around the back of the house across the paving and onto the actual plinth that we built and like I said these are a few aerial uh, photographs that customer gave us that's a, that's a day one uh, digging out, clearing out the old slabs marking out and putting the footings in uh, digging out the foundations for the circle um, and then once we've dug out, marked out the um, perimeter of the patio, we dug out trenches, uh, approximately about 12, 12 inches deep, 8 to 12 inches deep in places. And you see the pins in there, leveling pins where we put in that with a concrete fill. Uh, that's a bit day one photograph, I think. And then you can see they've got the walling up to put the levels in. Um, and then it's basically just backfilling all the walls uh, a custom, that's one before and the customer took out of the bedroom window um, and then that's the sand that's been piled up to mix the concrete we mixed all the concrete bands about one and a half two cubic meters went in in all the footings um, and that was the footings gone in and backfilled and then that one's got the walling up and then what we got after this we've got that's well, basically the day we stripped the turf, which you saw on another video. A couple more there with the uh, pile of sand. That's the centering pin uh, for the. Uh, I think a few of these photographs actually have been repeated, but I think we're just about coming to the uh, the end of them now. That's the set right hand side of the patio. Uh, I don't know what's happened with these photographs actually. That's the back. That's the uh, side of the patio backfilled. Now we normally backfill using a 40 mil to dust MOT uh, type one, type two. Um, but during winter, when the weather's really bad, we tend to use a 20 mil cleaner limestone that binds together quite well. But it does allow a bit of drainage um, for when it's wet weather. Because if you've ever done a, uh, a driveway where you've laid MOT type 2 down and it's rained heavily on it even when you've compacted it as much as you can 
it becomes unworkable for a couple of days till it dries out and solidifies. So we tend to use 20ml clean limestone um, just in the winter months really. So we can carry on working and get to get the job completed in a decent time scale. And there's the pathways that we put down. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and there'll be more videos to come. Right, well that's the last day on the Sheffield Garden build now. It's all completed. Customer's really happy. And we're on to the next one, which is a driveway project out in Doncaster. It's all been well. I shall film that uh, and you can watch that as that job progresses. Catch you in the next one.